From the front page of the Yonkers Statesman, August 10, 1916. Headline, two new cases of plague. The 22nd case of infantile paralysis in Yonkers has been reported at the Office of the Health Bureau. Health Commissioner Haven Emerson of New York City announced yesterday afternoon that the opening of the public schools in that city had been postponed because of the epidemic of infantile paralysis. The schools were to have opened on September 11th, and though the date when they will open has not been determined, those who conferred with Commissioner Emerson on the subject yesterday agreed that October 2nd was the earliest possible date on which the school session might safely begin. At any rate, the school will not open until the health authorities have positive evidence that the epidemic is dying, and some of them admitted yesterday that might continue as late as November 1st. No action has been taken yet by President Easton of the local Board of Education or Superintendent Gordon regarding the reopening of the schools in Yonkers. Headline, Suffragettes to Use Billboards Billboard advertising will be used extensively in an effort to defeat the Democratic Party for its neglect to adopt the National Women's Suffrage Amendment, it is announced at the headquarters of the Congressional Union for Women's Suffrage and the National Women's Party. The campaign will be waged particularly in western states having equal suffrage. Headline, More Land for Institution. The property at the northwest corner of Ashburton and St. Joseph's Avenues, known as 127 Ashburton Avenue, has been sold by the Purdy Estate to the Yonkers Homeopathic Hospital, the sale being $35,000. The property adjoins the grounds of the hospital, and the purchase of the land will give the hospital authorities the entire frontage on Ashburton Avenue between Park and St. Joseph's Avenues. Headline, Italian Advance on the Trieste Port. News from the Anzanzo Front indicates that the Italian army is rapidly following up its success in the capture of Gorizia with 20,000 prisoners. The Italians are reported in force, pursuing the retreating Austrians, whose seaport of Trieste is threatened by the Italian advance. Along the Somme, the British and French are making slow but steady progress. Another contingent of Russian troops were landed in France today and were given an enthusiastic reception. And that's the news from Yonkers 100 years ago today.